Hey guys, lead trainer for Stocks of Trade, Tim Bowen, back with you. Got a pretty cool announcement today. Got a new release of software recently, and we've got some pretty uh, great general enhancements as well as new features. So the first thing we're going to go over is very simple. It's just a just a general enhancement, but uh, we've we've made great improvements in the charting on high DPI, DPI devices. In the past, with MacBook Pros or Retina, and uh, as well as the Surface laptops, sometimes the charting could get a little wonky. So we've we've improved that, and it works great on the high DPI devices now. So you won't get the artifacts and stuff like that that we've had in the past. Um, nice feature enhancement. This is something that I'd been asked about a lot, something that affected me, is now in the search box when you type in a uh, ticker and hit enter to, to choose that ticker, you now can select your default action. Uh, in the past, it would just constantly open new tabs. I like to kind of focus on one uh, total view screen. So now I can just set it to replace that total view, my active total view window. Now, if you like the open new tab, you can. It's, it's slick because you can choose which behavior you want and then set it as the default going forward. Small thing, but it's a nice enhancement. And then the next one is something that was a direct request by me, but then I'd also been asked by other users as well. And it's a, it's a great just little productivity tweak. And that is being able to li link your sidebar scans and watch lists to your total view or chart windows. So nice thing is now, especially like with multi-monitor setups, if you've got multiple time frames and a total view window, you can quickly go through your watch list or scans and see that information without having to double click, tell it to put it in a new window and end up with a bunch of total view screens. So how you do that is just, I'll use my watch list. Now I'm gonna use the red color and then if I go to my total view screen and use red, and then again, I'm recording on one monitor for the video, but if I had multi-monitors with say a five, a daily, and a yearly, I'd set those all to red. And then the nice thing is I can just single click and go through and, and change my tickers based on my color. So if I hit EXAS, boom, everything's updated real time. I can go on to GWPH real time based on that linking. And then I can do the same thing with my percentage gainer. Say I set that to yellow and I have another set of total view screen that I can just one click through and have everything updated real time. Huge productivity enhancer. I love it because I look at multiple time frames all the time as well as the level two. So this way, one click, everything updated real time. Uh, last thing or last couple things is now, when you change tickers, your total view is preserved. So, um, so say, just for illustration purposes, I want to get rid of times and sales and my level two, just for, the heck, just for illustration. Now, when I change tickers, my view is preserved. In the past, it would reset you to a default total view. And this is just another nice thing. If for some reason you don't care about the news and don't want it there, you can shut that off and I'll turn, whoops, I'll turn back on my times and sales in my, in my uh, level two. Now I can change tickers and that, uh, whoops, that news screen doesn't come back because I shut it off. Then an extension of this is you can now save your total view. In the past, each time you would close or reopen, we would take you back to the default total view. Now, again, say I don't want news and I want my time and sales up here for some reason. I can right click on total view and save that as the default. So now if I bring up a, go back to beginning and bring up a new tab and we go back to Apple, you can see my view is restored. So then you can also just right click and then on your total view and reset to default, everything goes back. So a lot of nice just usability feature enhancements that are just improving stocks to trade every day. So we're excited to bring this to you and we're on to our next group of challenges. So expect to see another update on, on feature enhancements soon. So thanks a lot, guys.